Carolyn Castleberry. And I'm Don Robbins. It's a day 20 years in the making for movie fans. The day the next installment of the Star Wars saga hits the movie theaters. Mm -hmm. The Phantom Menace opened today, and theaters have been holding special hours to show the film all day long. Some fans saw the film at midnight. Others are in theaters right now. Sherry Richardson joins us live now from the theater. Okay, Sherry, what's everyone saying about this? Well, Don and Carolyn, I'm live outside the Regal Cinema here in the Greenbrier, Greenbrier section of Chesapeake, where the Phantom Menace, as you can see, is being shown on five screens. Now, there are no long lines out here right now. You've already seen the long lines all week. No long lines out here, but that's because everyone's inside right now watching. One of the first shows just let out. It started at 9.15 this morning, and more than 100 Star Wars fans were here to catch it. Lots of people brought their Star Wars paraphernalia. Others wore their Star Wars T-shirts. There you can see right there, play the Feel the Force game right there on your screen. Now, back here live is one of the biggest Star Wars fans that you will ever meet. Her name is Erin Womack, and she's 14 years old. Tell me, how have you liked the show? I loved it. <clears throat> I, don't, I don't care what the critics say. I thought it was great. What did you like about it? Um, I don't, it, just, it had a lot of action, the special effects, the story was good. I thought the acting was okay. It was great. What's your favorite character? Uh, Jar Jar Binks. Now, who is Jar Jar? I see this is your little he, tool. Yeah, he's a Gungan. He's the comic relief, I guess you could say. And why is this your favorite character? I, I thought he was really funny and he was animated great. He was extremely cool. Now, you're decked out in your Star Wars t-shirts. You also have, what is this, R2-D2 right here? Um, now, how long have you been following Star Wars? About, um, actually only about four or five years, really. <laughs> I understand you saw the first one when you were five years old and you were a little afraid? Yeah, I was scared of Yoda. <laughs> now, you are one of the biggest fans. I understand you have like a shrine at home of all Star Wars paraphernalia. Yeah, I call it my Star Wars museum. <laughs> Tell me all the things that you have. I just have the, everything from the vintage stuff to uh, all the things that came out um, earlier this month. May 3rd. So back to the Phantom Menace, would you say that it was better than you thought it would be, or just about the same? Well, or just about what you thought it would be? There's no way really any movie can live up to 16 years of anticipation, but I thought it was great still. So. All right, you're, you're, you're going to be seeing it six times today, I understand. Yes, back to back to back to back to back. <laughs> and your mom is letting you do this. You're cutting school today to do this. Yeah, you know. She's excited too. All right, and she thinks she liked it as well. Yeah. All right, well, thank you very much. There you have it. Erin Womack's going to see it six times. She saw it last night around midnight. She's going to see it another five times today. She's going to be back here again tomorrow, she says, to see it again as much as she can. Live here in Chesapeake, I'm Sherry Richardson. Now back to you. Another day to skip school. All right, thanks a lot, Sherry.